really what this comes down to is an industry that was built for people who were not women is really what it is. Um, you know, historically, it, and it still is a male-dominated field, and it continues to be. Women are only about 11%, and in the trades, about 3%. So when you're buying in bulk for companies, you're not buying for that 10%, you're buying for the 90%, because that's what makes sense economically. Um, but if we want to be a more inclusive construction industry and we want to build a more inclusive culture, those day-to-day -day items that we're wearing that are supposed to be providing a safety, those really need to be provided to all of our employees and not just one size fits all because we are a diverse workforce and one size doesn't fit all anymore. Today, I'm really hoping that we can come up with a vest or two or three or four that can be implemented and then also in interviews talk about the standards and how the standards could be problematic so that we can push towards the standards to support that diverse group of our construction workers going forward. was given a safety vest uh, that did not properly fit my body. It was very loose fitting um, and in one instance I, I got latched onto a piece of rebar, kind of took it onto my vest. Um, I realized there was uh, an excavation right by me um, so that in itself could have ended really dangerous. It just makes me feel less confident. And then I'm less confident, not looking up as much. I need to have as much confidence as I can so that I could get in, get the job done safely without double thinking, oh, you know, uh, is my vest going to hold all the tools that I need it to hold? And are people noticing how big it is or how small it is or whatnot? So I would just like for everyone to have a vest that fits them, that they're comfortable in, that they can own and be confident, and that will be the tool that we need it to be.